Please join me in welcoming Father Thomas Daly. Joy is what we receive when we know the truth of God's merciful love, and what we share when we show goodness to those to whom we draw near. No wonder, then, that the beauty of faith expressed in joy is the focal point of Pope Francis's first apostolic exhortation. In that document, Evangelii Gaudium, he speaks of joy, 59 times, in fact, as the antidote to the world's desolation and anguish. Joy gives impulse to the missionary paradigm and action of the church. Joy generates the strength by which to face the challenges of being publicly committed to the faith. Joy is the reality that makes peace possible in a common good for all. Joy reflects the power that comes from and leads to being spirit-filled. Though perhaps without intending to do so, Pope Francis is certainly playing a crucial role in determining the church's culture of communications. He clearly understands that the digital highway is one of those streets onto which the church must go if it is to reach people where they are. And despite the risk of accidents on that street, which do happen when his words are misunderstood or misappropriated, the simple fact is this. Pope Francis continues to enjoy worldwide attention precisely because his words and images are online. There, his message is shared with the rapid speed and global reach that social media now make possible. Digital communications may not allow him to demonstrate the poetic flair and philosophical genius of John Paul II, or the academic acumen and theological breadth of Benedict XVI. But they do enable Francis to continue the mission of being pontifex, that is, the bridge builder between the church and the world. Now, of course, to his nearly 11 million followers, pontifex signals the Pope's handle on Twitter. This and other forms of social media are fast becoming a well-traveled bridge to and from the Vatican. The first successor of Peter to launch a mobile app. Pope Francis has been recognized as the most talked about name on the internet, the most talked about topic on Facebook, the most influential world leader on Twitter, where his messages are shared every day by nearly 60 million people. That's pretty high praise for someone who doesn't even own a smartphone or an iPad. <laughs> the Pope effect created by modern media is undeniable. Now, whether or not it will translate the world's fascination into church-going participation, well, that's something still to be seen. But as Father Antonio Spadaro characterizes it, this Pope does not simply make use of social networks. He actually is one. 